Hey, good morning. Let's go over today's trade plan. So in the overnight session, we saw that the market held up really well, confirming yesterday's breakout and uh, continue to make fresh all-time highs. Heading into the open, we have resistance at 89 to 91, followed by 95 to 97 and 2300 to 2302. Now the resistance areas that are marked up here are not based off of any prior reference and that's why they're not really hard areas of resistance. Uh, these are really primarily based off the current volatility situation and the range expectation on the day. So given the typical ranges, the market could test 89 to 91 uh, quite easily and 95 to 97 and beyond would mark a range extreme so those zones are less likely to be tested. The 83.75 to 85.75 pre-market resistance um, is primarily the overnight high area. And uh, again, it's not necessarily a hard area of resistance because the market is in the process of setting new, fresh all-time highs. So uh, we need to be careful on the short side and understand that these resistance zones up here are simply spots where the range could start to get exhausted or the market may start running out of steam. But uh, it's really going to depend on just how much participation we get off the open. So 89 to 91 is very much within the range potential and uh, could easily get tested. But after that, it's going to get more difficult to reach the upper zones. 95, 97, like I said, is a range extreme. And uh, the same goes for 2300 to 2302, except it also has the benefit of being a psychological resistance level at 2300. So in the event that the market gets there, it's unlikely that we're just going to punch right through 2300 to 2302. So the 9597 and 2302 are areas that can cap the upside. And technically, we can get sellers even around the uh, 91s. On the downside, the most aggressive area of support is 77 quarter to 79 quarter. So in the event of a pullback there, we have to see whether we are still seeing um, a situation in real time where at least there's not big downside momentum. Um, you know, Then there's potential that buyers could be active there. But just keep in mind that it is the most aggressive area of support. And in very strong markets, the aggressive areas tend to provide a response. Below that, we have support at 73 quarter, 75 quarter. And uh, of course, the location is better at 73 quarter, 75 quarter. But again, when you're dealing with a very strong market, quite often you will not get a pullback to the more conservative spot. And uh, that's why the 77 quarter, 79 quarter zone could actually hold. In the event that we break the initial support, responsive buyers can still be active at 69 quarter, and then finally 66 to 68. But given the fact that we're in a breakout type market, you don't want to see a deep retracement. And uh, if this is a legitimate breakout, which uh, of course it appears to be, NASDAQ also continue to make new highs. Russell is in the process of putting in a catch-up move. So uh, there are all signs supporting a continuation move and uh, that the breakout could stick, in which case even the aggressive area at pre-market support could hold. But uh, 73 quarter, 75 quarter is good trade location and anything below that would be good location as well. We would just have to make sure at that point that uh, you know, again, we're not seeing any major signs of weakness that could signal a uh, failed breakout attempt. So the more likely scenario today is for the market to consolidate at higher prices. So we could balance above the pre-market support zone or above the initial support zone. That's something we will have to gauge in real time. But, uh, you know, push into 89.91 could attract sellers and we can start balancing or... Uh, you know, push into 95, 97, could exhaust the market, and then we could start balancing. So those are things that we will have to assess in real time. But what we do know is that uh, the market is right now uh, developing complete time frame alignment to the upside. And uh, for that reason, 
we are going to give more weight to long setups and be more cautious on the short side because there isn't any hard resistance up here and um, we may not get as big of a response until the market truly gets overdone and exhausted into a area of resistance and uh, we'll also have to pay more attention to the patterns developing in real time because these are fresh all-time highs. So those are the main ideas heading into the open. Let's see how the market holds up um, at yesterday's high at pre-market support and we'll take it from there.